Hello, hello. So updates done. Looks like servers are back online. It says they're good. So that means, boom. Let's find out if this can properly link. OBS did load faster with this update. So we'll see. If it holds it, great. Looks fine. It's still fluctuating, but that's that's data transfer fluctuation. This it's not ridiculous amounts of transfer. It's proper. It's a little bit up, a little bit down. A little bit of send, a little bit of receive. That is all good. I have no problem with that. So continue, and we'll go solo still. We won't do the uh, private ones. It, you know, if you're not winged up with somebody, I guess it is a little bit of a drag to the thing, so. It's definitely booting up faster. Elite's updates for today looked good. So. Now, we know we are just here where the dude is. Already. So let's, uh, let's get night fishing back on. That's not good. Night vision is on. It's not doing the allocation key for turning night vision on and off. It should normally be making the noise. It's okay. There is a lot of extra dumb stuff happening in the leads. So I'm put it past it there. It's going to get to the point where they're going to have to do something. So, back over here. Here's our boy. We're at the spot. He hasn't moved. It's allocated out properly. A couple little tricks that you can do to get everything back it needs to be. Starport and stuff. Let's get into FSD. And then I think if we we circle back around, we should be able to get him. We still have allies here. They're still showing up. So we'll get him interested, basically. So he is close. Unidentified signal is here. I'm assuming that's him. We'll swing this puppy around and kind of sneak into that area extra casual. Because he's not far away from where we are. He's just chilling. Weapons. Is that our boy? Seems like it. We'll find out. He is... Justin. Could be him. That behind us is him circling around. Bingo! What did I say, chat? It's... It's our man! We're gonna jump right into freaking combat heavy on. Huh? Something other than thermal, my friend. I'm 
Did we take it? Every time they line up, they try to move their heart for the system. And don't chase back to the lens. Got him. I know they're playing for him. What's up, buddy? Appreciate the assist. Still looking good for guns, too. Perfect. He's done, though. I wonder what they're selling at that other stage. He's done. If he would have done that, we would have had enough time before they shut the servers down. It's alright. Take care. I just wanted to make sure that he was done with. I am 
en route to your location. For the chunk there too. Okay. Take it. Where we gotta go? Oh, down. Way at the bottom. Gotta go this way. Keep surfing, keep surfing. He is up. Uh, Give him here. Ship just looks so freaking good. And then I get the ship kit for it. Um, it's gonna look even better. I'll put the ship kit I always put on. The other um, courier that I got, I'm gonna put the other ship kit that's available. You can see, I got the shield, the shield boosters. Got the chafe located in the front. The other shield boosters over there. Nothing underneath. It's a pretty balance. Just a really nice freaking ship. It's an eagle. Imperial eagle. And they take out the engine part in the back. And they add in this chonky little beast in the back back here. Which makes the ship look really nice. Really nice. Love the freaking ship. And they do the wings off the sides, back a little bit, and on the front, man, it's a freaking sick looking ship. Looking real, real nice. Asp Explorer is pretty good too. The Imperial Eagle, you can't really do the ship kits for. I wish you could do the same ship kits for the Imperial Eagle that you can do with the regular Eagle. Should be no reason why you can't. So I wish that was a thing. But the courier is basically the next eagle. It's like eagle from three worlds. I always wanted a courier to be a larger ship in general, even one more scale larger, with more everything. Not necessarily the case. Kind of. It's not that much larger physically. So, I wish it was. I wish it was like, you know, bigger, not quite Asp Explorer size, but definitely bigger. That would be great. If they make another one, I'll, I'll get it, whatever the other ship is. I'm not really interested in the other Imperial ships. I really only, this is about the last ship. Imperial Courier, it's where I stop. In the Imperial ship. I like Eagle. Love it. Fly the heck out of it. Build some freaking good combinations with it. I love dogfighting with it. It's an awesome ship. Um, and I really like the Imperial Eagle. Uh, mainly because of some of the upgrades that they have on it. I wish there was a couple other things. But Courier is by far of the three my favorite. Courier. I love it. It's awesome. Asp Explorer, Viper Mark uh, 4, and Viper Mark 3 is pretty good too. And then uh, Python. It's basically the only ships that I really enjoy. Don't really like the other ships. Krayat's badass for doing some just cruising around. Flies really freaking easy. It's like a easy pilot mode for that ship. You can dock it all day long. Never have a problem. It is an excellent ship to learn how to do flying. It really, it flies that good. It's because all the freaking lateral thrusters it's got on. It's got a ton, and that makes a huge difference with how well it flies. If it didn't have all that, it wouldn't be that good of a ship. Because it has that, it's pretty bad. I don't like that it seems like the ship is upside down. Like where you're docking on it, it just seems like everything for the ship is upside down. I would prefer if the 
helm and everything was actually above where it is. One whole area above where it is on that ship. I would love the ship more. That's why I don't have one, because I don't like where it is on the ship. It fl everything flies great and it does all that, but because of the position of where the pilot seat actually is on the ship versus where it should be, based off of the view of what you're looking at and how the ship is handling, it doesn't make sense that it would be underneath. It makes sense more that if it was above it. It's kind of stupid. I don't like it. It just kind of reminds me of a cargo ship. So I don't like it. I don't fly it if I don't like it. So. Diamondback Explorer, I flew. Uh, Diamondback Scout, I flew. Cobra. Went some decent distances with Cobra. Flying all around, checking out stuff. It is a pretty good ship. It's not bad. I actually prefer the Sidewinder over the Cobra. I mean, that's just... I like the Sidewinder better. The... Let's see. What other ships did I really fly enough to care about? Not much. I think that was it. Flew the Vulture and basically flew it right back to the thing and parked it. I went, this is dog crap. Uh, put lower uh, weapons on it than what it can do. One notch lower. Went back out played around with weight and some of the stuff, tweaked it around, and I was like, okay, it's better, but come on, two guns? You're still two guns. Another a Sidewinder can have two guns, same two guns. Not good enough. So I said, my Viper Mark IV can have more, and I can tank it. So all it is is you just get some extra shields. I'm like, do I really use shields that much when I'm fighting? Not really. Not really interested in shields that much. They're not really hitting me anyways. So, I don't know. So it's got some really badass ship kits for it. It can make it look really cool. I use it like a little taxi service. We did some evacs with it on some star bases. But that's about it. Didn't have much of a use for it other than that. Nice small cargo and um, passenger shield up, basically. Run no weapons on it just go in and, and try to fly as fast as you can and get into the star base if that we're having problems with getting people. It is tanky for that. I mean it does it can tank fairly well for everything so it is tanky. That's useful. Uh, I fly in the ocean. I don't do that Toro Toro engines I got from that military base. The ship I bought from that other base that we had got allies with. This is probably the best courier I've actually had. It's a little bit different than the other ones. Sounds different. Eyes a bit different. It built a bit. Just where I got the parts and the actual ship. Just sound awesome. A little doggy in a couple spots. Didn't make any sense why it was, but we got it figured out. So we turn this in. Should be able to turn in everything, actually. I think the other one was for here, too. I'm taking the 560. There you go. He's all set. These boys still have no mission. This one's got a mission. Mostly harmless for 1.1. So we already know there's going to be ships. Oh, we already know there's going to be ships. So I could make another mill, but there's going to be extra ships coming with this guy. So it's mostly harmless, but the people coming with them, they're not going to be mostly harmless. I already know they're going to be ranked up, and they're going to be pulling their um, ganker bullcrap. They're going to be nerfing the ship. So it does sound good, but it's a trick. 
this one here. Not worth it. That'd be a gunship coming for that one. We'd be dealing with another gunship at the same time. And it would be a gunship that has more guns than I do. So, we can cash out this one. We won't be able to cash out the other one. One tiny little strip. It's okay. Um, let's see. We need to cash this out. And go back to the blotter system. Cash it out. Wish there was a place here it can do it. Frickin' interstellar. Go back to blotter, I guess. We'll cash it out at blotter. Let's go. We'll do that. I don't like leaving it set. So we'll cash out these bounties here. At blotter system. Park the courier at blotter system. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I just wanted to make sure we had this done. Guy's gone. Check nav beacon at water system when we arrive. Let's see if there's anything else there that needs hunting. Usually it's pretty clean. Been making sure it stays that way, just like I did when I was doing it for Alan Air system. There, trying to keep the system clear, no stupid stuff. So, let's see. Well, they did their survey. Might get that. Might get that. Sometimes when they do those updates, they get refresh rates. We still have it down to nothing. All the other factions that we don't want, um, they're gone. You're fine. It's not even... It's not critical. It's not even at the bar. You know we can cook this thing more than that. Get, get the dust off. Get all that dust that's getting out. There, see? Good. No more dust. Punch it. All worried for nothing. Jefferson means he's critical. Uh, two, one, here. Punch. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, sir. Ah. Knock that. Forward. Another lesson about these guys. Well, everybody's coming. Good news. Scan detected. There's a lot of freaking boys coming in here. These guys are clean, so what the hell? Heal that. Clean. Clean, clean. Single band. Usually it's. Lazlo Lazlo Station. Sun's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. These two over here are getting closer and closer. Eventually, this system will be like Alnair, where the stars are getting consumed and it's just eating up the freaking system. So, they only stay good for a while, and usually something's happening. Best to boot prop. Actually thinking about eating some spaghetti. Which I made some yesterday. I had some hamburgers, but I don't know. Needed some better to cook. No problem. So how is steam holding up? It's holding up good. Still. It should be, and everything is looking like it's supposed to. Switch it back, and looking smoothing it out, making progress. It'll eventually work out the kinks, and get it figured out. There, the Lazo Lazo Station. We go here, and the only thing we need to do here is just get rid of this bounty situation. Cash all these in, basically. And then we're good. I'll hop off, get something to eat, probably watch a little YouTube. And I will be on... So, what's today? Thursday? If I get... If I get everything done that I need to 
tomorrow, because I don't have anything to do right away in the morning. So give me a little bit of time. I will... I gotta make two stops tomorrow before I get back here in the afternoon, so I'll make the two stops. Could actually do all three stops for the entire day. And then... I gotta bring back two things. Garlic bread, parmesan cheese. That's good. Pretty good. Got thirsty? Are you watching me on the stream? Are you? What? You're not being streamer girl today? I had to go back down here and go finish up my feet. Now I'm gonna go turn in all these bounties. That will give us our mill. We made a mill earlier and then made another mill. So two. Her OBS's update is functional now, at least. Elite did theirs, and theirs is, at least for now, communicating back and forth properly. So. Arc is working fine. Not, not even a single issue. But immediately worked. It's the Elite to OBS. Elite on Steam. And then Elite, Steam, and OBS have a problem communicating together. They do not want to play nice. Arcs have no problem. No problem communicating with Steam. No problem communicating from Steam to OBS. And from OBS back to Steam again. Arc is fine. Live streaming the tabletop RPG also no issue. It is just isolated to Elite. It has something to do with that update, because that update 4.0 there that I downloaded or optional as part of the issue inside of it. So I'm gonna probably end up I'll leave it in the library, but I'll delete it from the PC on this. And that should take care of that problem. Should. Posting in. We're catching the starboard at a perfect angle here, too. Right down. Right towards the runway, basically. Heading towards this bend. I was watching some Ken Block earlier. He was doing well, some in-car footage. He was doing some um, high-speed rallying. And he was testing out a new car that he was uh, working on, too. Pretty good. Looks good. He'll eventually be doing some other stuff here shortly. I think he's trying to finish up that rally. As of last one. That's the spot you got. And two. On top. Right next to the hotel. Perfect. Two things. One. Cash out, flat out. Check the interstellar. And our next closest spot. And we got a ways to plot. Okay. We'll save that most likely for the next one, too. Bit of a flop. No problem. Alright. To main menu. 
Just a quick one. I just wanted to make sure we got that taken care of. So now it's all done. So it looks like on here they've got the Xeno Peace Treaty thing. They've got this destination thing here for all these signals going on. It's just major Thargoid activity stuff. They're trying to do some expansion on certain locations. There's a couple systems that I've seen, um, well, mainly about where we're at, but there is a couple systems, because I keep a logbook of everything. If you guys go to the Discord, I put some of the things that I create to use for different things in this particular instance, like a tracking system you can use to allocate all your stuff. Helps you keep track of the different things. Uh, locations, missions, all that stuff. So, I have that on on the um, uh, Discord as a... I think I saved it on there as an image file. So, there is that. That is on there. So, there's three of them. I, I have a whole binder full of all the different stuff that I use for different so yeah, uh, done. We did good. All that's finished. Smooth as could be. Glitches. I mean, we're dealing with that, but we knew there was the updates were happening today. So I just wanted to make sure that they were done and ready so that the weekend we don't have to fart around with them. I want to make sure they were finished. It's easier if all the updates and downloads are done prior to Friday. That way they've got Friday in case there's a problem, address and fix it, and then the weekend is clean, clear, and ready to go. Because I got to get back on here Saturday early, twice. And then later on, before we do the normal time stream around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I need to get on again and do another thing. So... We should be good. That one game, uh, it's like a hunting game. Pretty good. Been watching a couple videos, checking out how they're running around and doing what they're doing. Just to see if there's anything in there that's different from ones that I've done. Doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just what it is. So I'm not going to take anything off of this PC. Um, Friday, I'm getting a backup drive for this. That isn't my other drives just designated specifically for this. And I'm going to back up all of the data on here, mainly because I haven't done... I always do external um, data saves on stuff, and I most of the things I have triple, if not quadruple copies of, so I'm not worried about it. I could be created again or whatever, but I want to do a full system backup just so that the entire BIOS is mapped out and saved, and then I'll just keep that off to the side. It's had its year run, and there hasn't been any issues, we'll say. I haven't had it that long, but we'll say. When this year closes out, it's had its year run. There hasn't been anything on here that I've had to think I need to do something about, basically. Um, but Yeah, next week, Wednesday, we won't be streaming anything at all, even though I'll have time to do it. We're not. I'm, I want to get some other things prepped and ready to go. And hopefully by that time, the stuff that I'm going to put on order over the weekend for Amazon, because it looks like the things we've been waiting for forever is finally in stock. So we got them all marked and everything ready to go. I'm going to get those things in here and then get that set up, finished up. And there's only a couple other things that I need to do, and then that's it. And I'm all set. So I just want to finish up those few things. That way on the weekend, I can try to work on some projects, because I got... Not much left, a couple hours worth of work, and then I'll have the other room empty, basically. And I want to get that done and dismantle the bookshelf system that's inside there. I might save the shelf and scrap everything else. That's probably what I'll end up doing, saving the shelf and scrapping everything else that is attached with it. And then that will be completely out of the way and not even in the space. I can do some moving around and then I'll see some measurements and stuff. But I'm going to be moving the, some of the beds and such around. That way the spaces are moved into the spaces, basically, for the kids. So they'll each have their space set up. And they won't have to keep moving and setting up and moving and setting up stuff all the time. 
they can just have it set up and it just stays like that. Just easier. My stuff's here, it's set up. I'm going to do a little bit of different shuffling around here. A couple things, like I said, I want to get a different setup for the storage that's here. So I got to think about that a bit and how I want to do that. But I do need to make that change soon here. That way these can be reallocated for the kids to use. So I got to think about how I want to do the storage because this doesn't work for storage for the stuff I have, but it'll work for the stuff they've got. So I need to do something different for myself, basically, is what it is. And I'm, I'm thinking, because the binders, it's not a standard shelf size. These are custom built these. But I need a standard shelf size, a little different standard shelf size so I can fit all the binders in, but I want it to be able to be sort of bookshelf-ish. So I don't need it to be that deep. I need it to be more shallow. And I'm not going to build one like that. Then I'll just tap kind of anchor it to the wall. It won't move. And I'll just, I'll be able to fill it right to the top. It's just easier to put everything in one spot. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. So, yeah. Uh, we did good. Got it all done. So Elite, we did. We also did some art. Got that taken care of. The Unitars is back at the base with the Rexes. Uh, we can get the Rhino back. I'm thinking I'm going to saddle the Rhino up. I have a saddle somewhere. I'd rather saddle it up and then ride it back versus trying to keep it with me wherever I'm at. That way, when I run into some stuff, I can just do some leveling up with it, try to get it leveled up before we get back. The reason I even got the Rhino is because of an oopsie. An overshot of one of the arrows ended up tranking it when I was tranking the Unitar. So, I mean, great. I'll take it. It was busted up bad. I mean, its health was like... I was like, does it even have any health? Like, how's it alive? It had like a line. I was like, wow. This thing was, you know, a mosquito draw of blood away from being done. <laughs> so. But holiday times are coming up too here. So that will change a few things. And hopefully we'll be able to do some extra stuff during that time frame. Got a couple things that I had staged back, and they are still sitting there. Perfect. So I don't have to dig for those, because I've been moving the one room and dismantling everything and, and getting everything situated up. This whole side over here is just all the storage boxes from my room, basically. I can't really do anything with it. I need the space to put that in, so it's just going to have to go on that for now. I'm not utilizing any of that material right now, but... A storage unit just costs too much. It's not worth it. So it can set right there. It's not in the way. It's all, all boxed up in weatherproof storage boxes. So. so yeah, we're good. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Had a few people stop in and out. Um, for a couple first time chatters in too. So I will... I uploaded everything we did already over to YouTube to make sure that it was working. YouTube, for some reason, likes to double grab it, or Steam, OBS, are double sending the stuff over. Why, I don't know. I'm only clicking on them to transfer them over once. So I'm not for sure why it's doing that. So over the course of the holidays, I'll be going through the YouTube channel and doing the check-ins and everything else. But I'm also going to be downloading the videos from the YouTube channel to that drive. That's why I'm also backing up that drive. I'm backing up the PC and then all the stuff from YouTube, I'm also backing it up. Every video, and I'm going to allocate them um, into the different folders for each thing so that I can keep that sequence done and I won't have to worry about it. Where is that in the what order? So I'm going to have to do some video watching and stuff like that. The other reason is it's nice for me. I can play those. Once I have them, I can plug it into the car, and the car can just audio feed it, and I can listen to it and, and check for edits or anything else like that while I'm doing stuff too, in case I need to do a refresh thought process on something or check something. But, um, I mean, I'll show you. So this, yeah, it's on big camera. So this is one of the other, um, one of the races that I was working on um, for the tabletop RPG, and I got the artwork and stuff for that done, basically. That's just a rough draft of it, but the, pe the pencils um, and inks I have, too. I always keep the original, so I got that, um, but I did the colored ones, obviously, with the colored pencil. 
And I'll probably do a couple other things to go with that, because that's just one of the Minotauran. Um, there's other ones within it. There's like three different... How we did the world of Grigor. Got an eyelash that's trying to... Got my eyeball here. How we're doing the world of Grigor is that tie-in with three. Three is that that sequence that we're dealing with. So in the Minotauran, there are three. So we have the ones that work the forges, the you know the thing, the warriors and stuff, and then we have the other ones that deal with the sort of like enchanting archives and stuff like that, and the allocations, exploration, things like that. And then there's the other ones, which are some of the ones that don't do the good things. So the Minotauran end up actually in the two adventure modules. You can see them in the world of Grigor, and then in the third adventure module. Um, actually delve into it a little bit more with the historical weight of the world space with the Minotauran. So there's a lot of stuff in there that's happening great. I mean, we got the, from just, this is the process and, and working it backwards, but I had to take the, uh, because they crafted an item, one of them crafted an item out of a metallurgy that was forbidden to be used in that world space. So we had to take and do some changes in there um, I had to dig back further, and I didn't want that to be pitched in just yet. So I had to layer that out different. So I had to back it up, extract it out, back it up, and then layer it in a little different. Because it has to be instructional. We're trying to teach the world space as well as play the world space. So they learn more about the world space as they play the modules within the world space. There's no memorizing everything. You're going to be doing it in real time, which makes memory retention far greater. Doing it as you are are learning it you're in you're in the mode so um but there's that convergence and each of these modules are kind of tying around these different events and stuff and that particular event is happening proper so there's a convergence of the worlds the different the different realms uh the moons in the world of Grigor, and these metals to make this new metal to craft this item that shouldn't be crafted so, and then it ends up being used or made in the Forge of Worlds, which is the location specific in the worlds of contingency, but also in the worlds of uh, the world of Greek Wars. So, uh, but yeah, that, that metallurgy and the weapon actually takes three different forms, depending on what plane of existence you're on. It's got three different forms. And then when it's, when it's not in the plane, so to speak, um, it has a dormant form or a standard form and, um, it's pretty it's pretty well designed in the fact that it's purposeful and it kind of limits itself so it can't get op or anything like that so that's great because doing the checks and balance system more or less which is that factoring in that three in the world of Gricker that we happen to roll up it makes doing these other things always remain foundational. Like you literally can't screw it up. If you plug anything into the program of the system that I've designed, it's going to check and balance everything out. There'll be a blank if there's nothing that's there. You'll know where it's missing, obviously. Uh, but then if you do create something, as it gets plugged in, it's just going to backtrack and, and double check everything else. But this particular um item ties in and it does like it's almost three modules so we had built three modules already and those modules tied together and brought the whole thing together and i was like i gotta back this one thing up that's happening just a hair too soon i don't want the players learning that information just yet that wouldn't be an appropriate level progression they would learn something that they shouldn't know yet So I backed it off a bit. You can always make another mod, you know. But if too much happens, then you've reset the bar and they've changed things too quickly. You don't want to advance it in that fashion. They have to earn all the things. It's not just things you're going to just give to them because that offsets the balance of the game mechanics when you do that. Any, it doesn't matter which one. You don't want to give too much because that is too much i mean that's just the way it is so yeah so we'll be hopping on like i said it's like 4 a.m here 
So I'm going to hop off, crash for a bit. I got to uh, maybe even eat the spaghetti. I don't know. I'm going to take a look at it. I might end up doing that and see what happens with my stomach. But uh, definitely uh, we'll be streaming later on today, our 10 o'clock slot. I should be ready to go for that. Um, if by some chance I end up be able to do it earlier, I will, but Friday I've got a lot of things happening and I want to be 100% brain capacity and I have not got enough, uh, downtime at all this week. So I will try and get some today and early tomorrow. So I won't be streaming super late tomorrow, uh, like today. It won't be streaming until it's four o'clock in the morning or whatever, but I will stream a bit. That way we've got some stuff to handle it. So we got some things to do. We got things that will keep us busy easy. I mean, I'll go over this tabletop RPG stuff and catch everybody up on where we're at. We kind of did a hit and miss on there for a bit. <laughs> Namely because the um, internet. And the second thing was uh, the weather started screwing up. here. So I had something trying to hold us back. Today was the... You know, OBS having problem, Elite having problem. We're trying to get this Elite thing figured out, get back on doing Elite like we were doing. We were streaming Elite like crazy and never had a problem, never had an issue once. It's doing it because of something that they they're doing between the two of them, having an issue. Still no update for Steam yet, which is odd, but we'll see. It might be later on today. So, like I said, I'll be up a bit here, right till. Maybe 4 30, 5 o'clock. I might still be up, but I got things to do too. So, because uh, the day starts, the sun will be up. We're in the dark ages now, the daylight savings time, which means it's dark and then it's dark again. So, you know, there's not much light during this time frame. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.